Oh, hello guys, this is Super Terushichka aka Sotovos and uh, this is my first video tutorial so try to bear with me. Uh, today I will try to show you how to apply a hard surface uh, theoretics into practice. So uh, basically we will be, I will not show you uh, some theoretics but uh, I will show you how to apply those uh, theoretics into a real world uh, object. Uh, some time ago a friend of mine on 3D.com asked me how to create a pencil or uh, of course a uh, high poly version with turbo smooth applied on it. So today we will be using a pencil. Uh, it can uh, seem easy and obvious to do but uh, the problem uh, is this part, this transition between the sharpened part and the rounded part uh, at the tip. So uh, before we start we need to know that uh, pencil has six sides. Now this will help us uh, to determine uh, how much size we need to start with. So uh, let's open this. And uh, of course pencil is cylindrical shape so we will use cylinder. Uh, I like to start I like to work in uh, orthography view because there are no perspective distortion and uh, we don't need any high segments. Uh, I turn off the cage with uh, J and uh, like down radius, maybe from up height, uh, and convert it into editable poly. Uh, to make uh, things easier, I will dump out the half of the part, the half of the mesh. And uh, as I said, uh, about, uh, well, why we have uh, 18 sides? Well, because there are there are six edges, and uh, we need to create a crease around the around the edge uh, so we will use the extra edges for spur edges so select this uh, select this edge uh, toggle the constraints to the edge or uh, uh, shift x is a shortcut for this and toggle it here and this edge here so this is our this is actually our one side so we, we can delete uh, the rest of it and uh, before we copy that uh, with uh, five copies uh, we will come to the reference again and it's not really obvious here but <coughs> pencil has uh, is a little rounded even at this sharp side so and uh, of course so uh, uh, it's rounded here and uh, we need some more edges to create a really rounded, a really rounded tip. So uh, we will add, a, add a another edge in the middle here, uh, and this will help us to create so the wavy pattern here. So uh, now we can proceed. Uh, turn to rotate. Uh, we can do this. Uh, turn to rotate and. Uh, with uh, shift, with uh, in shift. Oh well, uh, turn off the angles and toggle. And with shift, hold it, uh, rotate it uh, 60 degrees, and number of copies is 5. So, okay, and now we can attach it. Right, so uh, of course it's uh, separated, we need to weld it together, the vertices, so it's like that. Now if we, if we, well I said it's really rounded, so let's uh, scale it out a little bit, this edge is here. Uh, you need to scale it in uh, vertex mode, control click to convert the selection, and scale it around the z-axis with uh, constraints on none and let's go well not not like this but like this yes. just a little not much uh, now we can apply a triple smooth to see how it looks this one is by on, on and durations to it's about enough uh, yes it seems it seems okay I like the lines some cosmetic details don't worry about it and of course we want to create a tip uh, here uh, since this is uh, distorted and we want to be to create a tip perfectly around it 
uh, we will use a new cylinder. Uh, how much size? Uh, it's easy to determine. Since uh, we will terminate these three edges into one, uh, so we will count these three as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve sides for uh, our new cylinder. Tap it in. Convert to editable poly. And uh, add A to align it. Let's yes, the position. And let's set it up. Apply a shader. Just a cosmetic bit. And uh, we don't need the top and the bottom. So just select it all. Let's select the middle part and delete it. Try to try to fit it in here and uh, scale it out. So it well, we need some rotation here. So this edge fits this edge. Oh yes, that's about right. And we need to scale it just to make this fits. So like that. And get it higher because uh, this is part. This empty part is uh, the part where we will where we will create our termination for these three edges. Anyway, uh, this we need to take this in because of course this is our this is the tip and make it a little higher like that. And so we can proceed now. Uh, I don't need to delete it, but we don't need that right now. Oh, attach it. Oh, select board borders. And this select. No, 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 this won't work. So, select those, bridge them, and to do it for all the parts. Oh, I could uh, just uh, delete it, make it on one part. And uh, uh, as before, just uh, rotate it around the z-axis, set the number of copies and weld it together. But it would uh, be as much as, uh, as much time consuming as this technique, so we don't worry about it. And of course, this created, sorry, well this created our nice termination. What we need to do now is just cap it. Uh, you can see it's it's. Uh, nice here, it flows nice here, but if you look here, it doesn't flow right. So we need to select those vertices and take them out to even uh, those part. And around the z axis, yes, that's about right. And uh, of course, uh, it's good to take this down just because of topology. Don't make uh, make much trees like that. So uh, we need a super edge here to create this uh, this sharp part around the baby pattern. So just uh, connect edges. Uh, you can see me. I am not clicking at the menus here. Uh, I'm using bins. Uh, I have uh, connect binded to D and I highly recommend you to set your own uh, bind keys and use them because it uh, really saves time and sometimes even life. Uh, and so uh, of course we want to create the wave pattern here. So it's, uh, we can see the wave is higher than uh, this uh, sharpen edge. So we will uh, select these. Be 18 polygon, uh, 18 vertices, and tie them up, and that's about it. If we apply a little smooth on this, it goes nice. Uh, so, this is everything I want to tell you. I uh, hope you learned something from this tutorial, and uh, see you next time, guys.